Hi guys. Okay. Hi. I hope you guys are amazing. I assume if you're popping onto this video right now, you've got some stuff going on and trust me, um, I have been in the thick of all of this alongside you. So when I come to do this video and I step in and I talk to you guys about this dynamic, I am coming from such an open place because I am working through this evolution evolution, <laughs> this evolution, this connection, this next level of expansion within my own self. And I want to serve you with this content to hopefully be able to help you take the work that you need to do, shift into it and come out the other side in this new level of evolution. Let's say that's where we're at. Yes, the energy is thick. It will continue to get thick if you do not do the work. Okay. I want to say that one more time. It will continue to get thick if you do not do the work. And this is the part sometimes I feel that the old way, so let's say back um, three, four, five, six years ago, I always go to five years because I feel like that's a really good time span for us to look at where we could have maneuvered through without having to do the work, meaning we could have pushed it aside, we could not dealt with it, we could have put it under the rug, we could have completely ignored it. Um, we could have pretended like it wasn't happening. I don't know about you, but that was definitely an MO of mine. And I was like, I'll just keep moving over here. Keep gathering, keep moving. But that is no longer the case. We cannot, um, push it under the rug, avoid it or anything any longer. We are being smacked across the face with it and are needing now to fully step in and embody what has to happen in order for us to shift this energy. So for a lot of us, this energy showing up and coming in is past emotional stuff, um, which makes a lot of sense. You know, it's like the, the block that is happening in our world, whether it's financially, whether it's in connection, whether it's in our love life, whether it's growing our business and all of that dynamic is showing up right now because of certain things in the past that we haven't healed or forgiven or worked through. Um, and in that capacity, so one of the first things that we need to really lean into is first honoring. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, a year ago, what would happen is we would get cut off at the knees. We would take a few days of rest. We would recoup. We would do a self-care day. We would, you know, tap out of social media and then we could step back into the energy. That is not what's happening now. Although you might be inclined to take a self-care day, what's really what we're really leaning into right now when it comes to honoring is allowing all of it to come in. So opening up the door and allowing it to flow through, allowing yourself to feel the destitute, to feel the loneliness, to feel you know that self-sabotaging shame, to feel the guilt, to feel the negative vibrations, to feel the scarcity. And you know that goes opposing to a lot of manifestation, law of attraction types of mantras, but it is what is needed. Now, I don't need you to sit in it all day long or sit in it for the next week, but we need to honor it and allow it to fully come through all the pieces of it. So you need to step in and go, I want it all, give it all to me and let me feel everything. And then what happens next is we need to get into that feeling. Where is it coming from? And most likely, and sometimes we're like, oh, that, that's not happening. Yes, it is. You are just not paying attention. Okay. So what is happening is that certain scenarios are starting to pop up. You're remembering the house that you lived in when you were five years old. You are remembering that scenario on the monkey bars when you were 12. You are remembering that ex-boyfriend that you had back when you were 13. You are remembering all of these things. Now, I'm coming back just from a trip to Winnipeg, which was actually amazing because I got to go back into the scenarios in real time where I used to live um, and really sit into the energy there to be able to clear it. So I took a drive um, when I was headed to my brother's place back then, and I took a detour. So I went down by the community center I used to hang out, or the ball diamonds I used to play on, or the house that we lived in until I was 14. Um, you know, I drove back around to the 7-Eleven I used to sneak out and go to when I was a kid. And it just allowed me, and now I'm going back into an elementary school where some of my good friends used to go to that I used to go to all the time and wanted to go to, but my mom, <sighs> wow, I'm clearing that already in real time. My mom wanted us in a French immersion school, so I couldn't go to this English 
school. Um, wow, that was intense. Okay. Like, see, it just happens like this. And it comes through in immediacy for us to be able to look at. Now, when these are coming in, taking a look at the scenario. Now, not in a way of you're judging yourself because a lot of us, guys, a lot of us have done shitty things, okay? Shitty things. You are not the only one that has done something dumb, vindictive, manipulative, you know, any of that. You are not the one. We have gone through this escalated period of time where we've gone through experiences to test the experience, to see it, to try it on, you know, and some people have been left in those experiences and they continue to do life there. Where a lot of us, if you're inclined to this video, you've done some things, let's say, you know, you lied, you cheated, whatever, you've done some things, but you are now in this point of time where you are ready to clear all of that dynamic because you know that you're stepping into this light lane, you're stepping into this impact in the world, you're stepping into this light that you are meant to serve the world with. And it doesn't mean it's easy, guys, like really, it's this whole human experience and dynamic is intense, trust, it's intense. And it is not for the faint of heart. Um, we need to have courage and we need to step into that courage in order to execute. But just trust me when I say this to you, when you do is where the magic happens, okay? So we need to go back into these scenarios and we need to look at them with that eye of going, what do I need to learn from this? What do I need to learn? You know, what do I need to bring forth with me? What do I need to heal? Who do I need to forgive? Maybe it's someone else, yourself, you know, and what are the emotions that are showing up currently in my life that are tied to this? And we need to go back in and do the work. And inside of that space, once we start doing the work, then what happens is a trickle effect of timeline. So everything in between today and that time period collapses the energy and the energy is now cleared in this point in time. And that's the next point that I want to bring forth. We now need to do the clearing. So we need to let it go and we need to honor and we need to accept that we cannot change anything that happened back then. All we can do is change the way that we move forward and react. And for some of us, we might need to sit in solitude and quiet ourselves and like close our eyes and ground and allow the emotions to come through the body and see it elevating up and down and out of ourselves. Some of us might go into a sage bomb and just sit and breathe in the sage energy and allow it to clear our bodies. Um, others of us that have different tools, like I, I can clear through Akashic Record work. Um, I have the availability to transmute energy around myself. I call in support. Um, so Archangel Michael in his purest form is there for protection. He can also help come in to shift energy. Any of the earth angels are um, in their relative spheres. Let's say you could even do some research to find out what it is that you need. So let's say it's forgiveness and seeing which archangel um, in their purest form can come in to help you shift um, that energetics and calling them in to help serve you and allowing them to be here. Um, your guides, teachers, and angels, any of them um, can come through to help you with this. So it's then about calling the people in and calling your higher self in to clear it because we are no longer meant to be holding this weight of these scenarios. We are no longer meant to bring them forward into life. We are bringing the lessons forward, the learning, but we don't need the heaviness of all of this any longer. And that is the key piece I want you to remember. If this is showing up, you are meant to move through it. You are meant to heal it. You do not need to sit in this any longer. You do not need to, okay? You don't need to do this, right? And no matter what the scenario is, it's time to do the work. And I've been saying this for weeks but it is showing up drastically. Like I, oh my God, like last week was intense for me and just uh, allowing surrendering into, like that's honoring the emotions coming in. That's part of surrendering. So honoring the emotions to come in, allowing them to come in, surrendering into it, knowing that you don't know, like that's a big thing too. Like our ego is collapsed at that time when we go, I don't know. I don't know what this looks like. I don't know what this means. I don't know. And that's okay too, right? And I don't want you to know. I want you to surrender into this and then allow that flow of energy to come through to help serve you in this space. Yes, it's a big time and you know that it is. You've been doing the work as you move through. You've been shifting the gears. You've been stepping into the space. You've been really, really stepping into this next level and it's really time for you to elevate your game. 
It's time for you to make, make this alignment happen in your world. It's time for you to really allow yourself to be in that connection so that you can go serve and make your impact fully in the lane that you're meant to, in your mission here on earth. But we can't do it without doing the work. We cannot do it without doing the work. And if you don't do the work, shit is going to get real. It's going to get harder and harder and harder for you. And all you have to do is make a choice right now to step in and do the work. And then it dissipates all of it. So if you want help with this, reach out, okay? Like check out my Instagram handle down in the show notes because this is what I do. So if you need help, just reach out and we can figure out how this is going to look for you, how I can serve you in this. But it is, yeah, it's a time and we really need to honor this and step in because if you're feeling this, which if you've gotten to this point in the video, you are, um, it's really time for you to start to make these shifts because you matter, your energy matters, your impact matters in whatever way it's showing up. It doesn't have to be in business, in life it matters and it's time. So sending out lots of love and light from over here in this green world that I live in now. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.